Trailblazer Award, which is named after Justice C.C. Smith, a beloved member of the legal community and a former LBAW member, uh, board Ooh. member. He served on the board when I was president some 15 plus years ago. He worked tirelessly for justice throughout his career. The LBAW board selects members of the legal community whose work exemplifies the values that Justice Smith cared about so deeply. Justice Smith, or Charlie, as you like to be called, would be so very proud of having this year's recipient receive the award that bears his name. Chief Justice Mary Fairhurst, who served in our who has served in our state's highest court since 2003, has dedicated her career to giving a voice to the underrepresented and marginalized members of our community. She is a selfless, compassionate, strong, and fearless leader. Chief Justice Fairhurst values fairness and justice traits that Justice Smith exhibited, and it shows in her commitments and her actions. She's advocated strongly for domestic violence and sexual assault victims, and in 2017, she expressed concern when ICE was targeting immigrants at our courthouses. Chief Justice Fairhurst stood up for the immigrant communities at a crucial time, and she did so because she believes in respecting all people and the rule of justice. Chief Justice Fairhurst has made a difference both on and off the bench. I could spend the next half hour plus going through her various accomplishments and the various organizations that she has served on, but let me give you just a few tastes. Before joining the court, she worked on a constitutional amendment to increase the rights of crime victims while still honoring the constitutional rights of the accused. She organized the first statewide conference on domestic violence, and she planned and facilitated the Youth Violence Summit and organized and moderated conferences dealing with sex offenders in the community. She served as the WSBA president, the second woman to hold that position, and the first from the public sector. She was president of the Washington Women's Lawyers and served on its state board. And in 2006, her colleagues elected her uh, as the Chief Justice of our highest court. Out of respect for her compassion, for her talents, which we in the community share. She's a treasure and we can never pay back all that she has given to us. We are extremely lucky to have her working on justice in our state and look forward to her many years of contribution in the future. Now I know Mary's an incredible baseball and Mariners fan, right? <laughs> and uh, so I'll end this with a phrase that I know she's familiar with. Uh, Chief Justice, your career has been a grand slam. <laughs> So get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. It's a grand salami time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Justice Mary
Uh, love to see you there, and congratulations again. Uh, hope to see you soon. are all colon. 
So if you read I have lung cancer, I don't. Mm -hmm. I have colon cancer in my lung. You read I have thyroid, I have colon cancer in my thyroid. I have colon cancer in my dome, liver dome. And I know there's cancer over here, we're gonna check this summer, and there's cancer other places. But every day I get to live is another day I get to live, and I told my family, I do not want you to be sad around me. I'm not telling you not to be sad. I know this is really big, hard news. Oldest of seven children, both parents dead. I get it. But I want to spend my days being happy, and I want to spend my days making new memories. And every day I get up and go to work, and every day I get to race up here to receive this honor is a day that my body thinks I'm living and not dying. So I'm faking it out. And I'm hoping to fake it out for a long time. But however many days I get to, I will be so happy. I want to thank the Latino Bar Association of Washington for this honor. I sit in position number three. Position number three is the position that Justice Bill Williams from Spokane sat in, and I clerked for him. Position number three is the position Justice Bill Bidlow, who was elected to Justice Williams' position, sat in, and I clerked for him. The judge that was appointed to take that position was Justice Charles E. Smith. When I ran, the vacancy was Justice Charles E. Smith's position. Charlie and Ellie have been supportive and loving and wonderful to me the entire time I've known them, which was before I came on the bench. So for me to receive an award named for Charles E. Smith is a huge honor. I am humbled and I am happy. I don't believe I'm a trailblazer. I believe I'm one of you working hard every day in the area of justice and the rule of law. And to receive an award from the Latino Latina Bar Association of Washington that I have known since almost your beginning and who I've appeared for before for judicial evaluations and who I made sure was heard of all the other specialty bars when I was the Washington State Bar Association president. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to receive this award named for one of my heroes and from an organization that I love and that has played such an important role in our legal community. And I want you to know I will find a very special place for this beautiful award. And when I look at it, I will think of you. And I will think of the wonderful work that you are doing day in and day out. I want you to be yourselves. I don't want you to be anyone else. I want you to show up. I want you to pay attention. And I want you to know that you are making a difference every single day, and we need you to make it. So please do. And I want to tell you, gracias de mi corazón. Justice Furhurst, congratulations on receiving the Latino Bar Association Award, and thank you for your service. Um, I know you are loyal fans. Uh, I hope that you can join me, join me in Cooperstown on the 21st. Uh, love to see you there, and congratulations again. Uh, hope to see you soon.